Welcome to Systematic Inventive System, a course who will lead you through the major challenges of corporates. For corporates, it is innovate or die. Corporates are requested to maintain their competitive advantage through innovation. So, would it be a systematic inventive system or a method that will allow systematically to innovate for new products or services or would corporate depend on a talented employees or intuitive uh, creativity this is of course a method that will not be adopted by any corporate so yes psychedelic mushrooms can boost creativity but let's assume this is not a method that a corporate would use so regarding creativity we always refer to thinking out of the box this is the major uh, way we encourage our students our employees to work out of the box yes it is a creative version but this is not a systematic method would be able to create a systematic inventive system that will be defined as a closed work in the box method that will allow us to provide innovative solutions yes i think this is a non uh, not less creative design so what is a closed world solution i will use the Apollo 13 satellite mission that was stuck in uh, the outer space and not able to uh, fulfill its mission and the task was to bring them alive back. So Apollo 13 have divided um, Houston, we have a problem and the scientists were requested to provide a solution depending only on elements within the Apollo 13 uh, uh, satellite. Of course, there was no other way to provide any tools outside of this closed world. And yes, 70% of the successful invention are based on very, very simple innovative patterns. Only five innovative patterns are so question number one is why are we stuck when we are reaching uh, such a innovation uh, mission we sometimes find it difficult let's try a simple uh, task uh, uh, we have a triangle based on 10 uh, red balls uh, structured in four three two one layers and the task is to turn this triangle upside down by moving only three balls seems simple let's try we move one two three oops we can do it but we have four moves let's try again very easy one two three four unfortunately most people will find it quite difficult to move this uh, uh, form upside down and why is it actually it is because the definition of the problem misleading us this is not a triangle this is not a fixed form we request you or the mission was to turn this triangle upside down but it is not a triangle this is only 10 balls we can refer to them as a resource to our so let's try it another way move one two three and whoops here it is so we change the attributes of this form not anymore a triangle but a resource of 10 balls that we can use so in this way it makes it very very easy so it is easy if we have the right tools so systematic inventive system is a method a system a tool 
uh, that refers to closed world, meaning all the elements of the product or the solution are there within the box or in its immediate surrounding. It doesn't matter if you refer to the whole world as a system or a method or you zoom in to a specific target. Systematic investing system is a non-intuitive, actually it's a counter-intuitive when you are trying to get out of the box in order to innovate. And not surprisingly, it was innovated by uh, Dr. Ronnie Horvitz from the engineering department of Tel Aviv University. Not any creative department, but engineering. So it is a method, a simple method that we have to implement. It is using four steps and five patterns. First, we define the service or the products. Second, we disassemble it to its building elements. On those elements, we implement those five patterns. We will refer also to the surrounding elements as well and use those five patterns as well. At the end, we will reassemble those elements, prioritize them and create a new service or a new product. So basically it is a method, a system that works in five, using five patterns. Very, very simple. I will use a very, very famous uh, car. Uh, I would say it is the most popular, all time most popular car, the uh, Volkswagen Beetle. Um, and the mission of the inventor, Jeff Gantz, uh, was to uh, create the most cost effective car to reduce its cost so it can be very, very popular. Volkswagen means the people car. And the uh, tool he used was actually to remove some of the car elements. Imagine you are driving a car which some of its elements are not there. So it's not a magic, but we are using pattern number one, which is subtraction. Subtraction means we have to remove an essential component out of the solution. So what was the elements Gantz have removed from the car? I'm using here a genuine uh, advertisement of Volkswagen uh, uh, showing all car elements just to emphasize how few are there. And the first move was to remove the car's water cooling system. Of course, no car uh, using an internal burning engine can survive without a cooling system. So how did he do this? Not less, he used the same pattern and remove another part, which is a transmission system. Transmission system is the element that connects the engine to the wheels. So how can we remove such an element? So uh, the inventor have done those two elements by replacing the water cooling system by what is so available in the surrounding while a car is on the move, which is air. So he replaced a water cooling system with a air cooling system. And unlike most of the common cars where the engine is at the front, he moved the engine to the back. So no need for a transmission system. The engine sits directly on the wheels. So this uh, um, advertisement says it is impossible for a car to uh, get overheated. Yes, it is true because there's no steaming water in this car. It is air cooled. So no, it is impossible to have a steaming uh, 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 water because overheated car. And again, it is true because the engine is not in the front. It is in the back. 
So this is a systematic inventive system course. Join us, come learn with us. Short bio and some uh, contacts, you are welcomed.